If you've ever been on Oahu, you would know about the nice warm weather, beautiful beaches, and the breathtaking views it has to offer. You would also have a great time walking around popular places like the beaches, Ala Moana, and other places. You would also eat delicious food like acai bowl from KCC Farmer's Market, pineapple ice cream from Dole Plantation, and Hawaiian food from all over the island. But have you ever thought about what happens to all the trash that is thrown away? Hello, my name is Gordon Ho, I am a junior at Marino High School, and I will be talking today about Hawaii's waste management system and how it needs to be improved. Oahu produces more than 2.2 million tons of waste every year from all sources. Over 700,000 tons of that waste is incinerated at the H power plant or gets sent to the Waimanala Gold Sanitary Landfill in Kapolei. H power stands for the Honolulu Program of Waste Energy Recovery. All of the ashes that is created is also sent to the Waimanala Gold Sanitary Landfill. The system is great because according to opala.org, Oahu State website for waste management, H power produces up to 10% of Oahu's electricity and reduces the volume of refuse going to landfill by 90%. The issue with this comes to the sustainability of it. According to a Civil Beat interview in 2020 with Tina Alder, the district manager of the landfill, she said that the landfill has capacity for another decade's worth of miscellaneous waste and can continue to accept H power ash for the next 30 years. In the big picture, 30 years is not a lot of time. When these 30 years pass by, there is going to be a need for another landfill to keep holding the ashes and eventually all the space on Hawaii is going to be used up. The rest of the waste is from construction and debris waste, or CND for short. All CND waste is sent to the PVT landfill where it can process a maximum of 1,776 tons of waste every day. PVT landfill is a privately owned company that recycles and reuses as much waste as they can. They turn wood, plastic, cloth, paper, and other materials into feedstock for incineration for energy or gasification plants, where those materials would be turned into synthetic gas or fuel. According to their website, a gasification facility is planned by Hona Power LLC for Campbell Industrial Park within the next two years. All the metals they collect are sent out to be recycled. They recycle about 42 tons daily. They send all their metals to Schnitzer Steel, which is a big mainline company known for their metal recycling. In addition to that, they recycle about 840 tons of concrete daily, which they reuse for roads. Only about 20% of what they receive ends up in landfills, which is decent. According to Opala, approximately 20,000 tons of ferrous metal and 2,500 tons of non-ferrous metals are recycled annually. They are able to recycle so much because they use magnets to separate ferrous metals before incineration and eddy currents to separate non-ferrous metals after incineration. Ferrous metals are basically metals that contain iron. In 2018, all of Hawaii recycled about 1,300,528 tons of materials, ranging from paper products to car parts. The most recycled thing were CND waste, which is no surprise since it's the heaviest material with 868,617 tons, then ferrous metals with 134,988 tons, and green waste at 111,907 tons. In 2017, Hawaii recycled 108,710 tons of green waste, but according to a study done in 2017 by the state, more than 250,000 tons of green waste was disposed of. All the extra waste was most likely sent to the H power plant to be incinerated. Even though there are companies like Hawaii Earth Recycling that takes green waste and makes compost from them, there is still a drastic amount of green waste being incinerated. This is a significant waste of resources since so much waste could have been made into compost. The current waste collection system has the residents sort their trash into three bins, a green bin for green waste, a black bin for general waste, and a blue bin for recyclables. To make it easier for the system to process the waste, I propose that they should add another bin for food waste, which allows for more waste to be turned into compost and not ash. Hawaii is also notorious for its many potholes, which can cause damage to cars. There is a company in Great Britain called McReber, created by Toby McCartney, that takes recycled plastic pellets and mixes it into the asphalt to make it stronger and last longer. Hawaii should investigate this to enhance repairs to our roads and reuse plastic that would otherwise be incinerated or recycled. In addition to this, an anaerobic digester would be another good facility for Hawaii to add. This facility takes organic things and creates conditions where the matter has to break down in the absence of oxygen. The byproduct that is created is used as fertilizer for crops and the gas can be used as fuel.
a major reason why we have an incinerator is because we have so much trash that Hawaii can't find a way to deal with it. So the best way of dealing with the trash is not to have it in the first place. The Seattle Mariner Stadium in Washington requires all of its vendors to only serve food with compostable items. If Hawaii could do that, there would be a significant amount of waste reduced. In fact, there is already a bill being processed, Bill Number 2391, in the Hawaii State Legislature. This bill aims to do exactly what the Seattle Mariner Stadium requires its vendors to do, which is to serve food only with biodegradable or compostable items, making it easier to dispose of the waste. When this gets added, though, there will be a need to have another facility to process this type of material, since there needs to be certain conditions for this type of biodegradable plastic to decompose quickly. The issue here in Hawaii is the sustainability of the system. Unless more changes are made to better deal with the trash, Hawaii is just going to end up being full of landfills. As a 16-year-old, there's not much I can do, but one thing I've come up with is taking unused pallets and making furniture out of it for homeless shelters. In 2017, an estimated 46,722 tons of pallets were sent to be discarded. So my actions won't be anything significant, but I will help others. Here is what my father and I made. We will be donating it to a local shelter after the quarantine. Obviously, not everyone can help by doing this, but there are other things you can do. In our plastic-filled world, it's hard to give up plastics like water bottles or food wrappers. So take the time to clean out your bottles before recycling it, use a reusable water bottle, use a reusable bag, and shop at places where less plastic is used, like farmer's market or places that encourage you to use your own bags, like Whole Foods. If we all make little changes like these in our lives, it will keep Hawaii beautiful for generations to come. Thank you.